Good everyone, my name is Graphics. In this video, we want to solve a problem involving helix, and the question goes like this it says, A cylinder with diameter 50 millimeter and 120 millimeter long has its axis parallel to the VP and having a pitch of 63 millimeter. Draw the elevation of the cylinder showing the helix for two complete tons. Now, the first thing you do is you take your T square, your meter rule, and you draw an horizontal line this way. You can see that, and you take your T square and you place it through that point. Your T square through that point, and you draw another vertical line this way. All together. Now, the next thing is we are given the diameter of the helix of the cylinder to be 50. So we are going to use the radius of what? Or 25. So if I take my meter rule this way and I'll measure a radius of what? 25. From 0 to this is 25 which is 2.5 centimeter here and i'm going to place it at the center here right and i'm going to draw a circle which i am going to take in in this fashion hope you can see that now the next thing i'm going to do is that i'm going to project the two ends of this Circle, I put them up. I also put the ends too. So you can see that. And at any given radius, as long as the line is not touching this this circle here, I will draw another line this way to represent my cylinder. Right. Now we're not to that the height of the cylinder, which are, is given to be. 126 millimeter that means it is the length right it's going to be what 126 millimeter so i'm going to take and i'll measure 126 from this point from zero to what 126 at this point can you see that which i am going to what which i am going to draw a line across from this point you can see that now I want you to understand this this is the axis right the axis the center line is the axis of this um, cylinder right and we are told that it is parallel to what to the VP VP means vertical plane so when this is parallel this is a vertical line parallel to vertical plane here that's why it is standing if I say it is parallel to the word the HP, it will be lying down. Since we are told it is parallel to the VP, as well as standing up straight this way. Now the next thing we are going to do, and one thing you need to understand is we are giving we say it is one to six millimeter long. Most times it might be might be given the pitch. So the pitch is always the height of it, also, right? The pitch is also what the height of it also. If you are not given the if you are not told one to six millimeter long, and it is not specified. And you are given the pitch, just know it is the same is the height of it. So since we are given the pitch, and it makes sense, look at what the statement is telling us. It says um I want to see millimeter long as it acts parallel to what to the VP and having a pitch of what 63. So if you add 63 to plus 63, that'll give you what 126, right? And if you move further here, you know we're not told that what two complete ton. And it's making sense. So two complete ton means number of ton times the what the pitch will give you what the total height here. So you are told to complete ton. That means 63 in two places, and that is 126, and that makes sense. So we have done that here, and I'm going to measure 126, I mean 53 here, twice. From here to here, this is 63 here, and the next one is what, 63 again. So that is the two complete ton that we have there. Is that again? So I'll just place this this way. This is the first one. The first turn and the second turn, so we'll have those two points there. 
Now, after we've done that, right, the next thing that we're going to do is to divide the number of circles into six equal parts. And how will I do that? This is how you can divide the circle into six equal into 12 equal parts. You take the radius of the circle. Hope you can see that. And you mark up this way. You come here also. You mark up to this way. You come to the center here. You mark left and what and right. Now you draw your line to pass through each each point to pass through the center of the circle. That's what I mean. So if I take this through the center of the circle, I have this paint line here. This also I have this. This also I have this. This also. I have this so you can see that so this will be I can see this is uh, my zero right or better still I can call it to be um, zero this will be one here to be one this will be two here will be two this will be three here will be three this will be four here to be four this will be 5, here will be 5, and this will be what? 0.6. You can see that? Now, let's do the next thing here. Since I divide here into 6, I will also project all those points upward this way to touch the end of this circle here. So, project 5, project 4. The worry of zero. This is the three things you're going to do. Now the next thing we're going to do is um you divide since you divide it into twelve, you also divide this line into twelve. So I'm going to divide into twelve. How will I do that? I'm going to draw an horizontal line this way at any given radius. I'll draw this this way. We can see that, and I'll start since we're told to complete turn. So, what I'll do is um, I'll start marking any given radius on your compass. You place it here, you start marking this will be one, this will be two, and twelve. Let me do that first for the first turn because from here to here is one state three, so I can do that twice, so I can just completely doing that but let me just do this first of all so if i should take my meter rule i'm going to join this point to this point here the first is the three hope you can see that and i'll take the other one here and i'll place it at one end here this way this is your line division method right and i'll move to the next point come again the next point this is what we have here right and I will take my instrument here and I'll start running this line each of them this way But you can see that so this will be still zero here will be one two three four five six seven this is five this is six and i'll come again six five four three two and then what this will be zero here that is six Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Right. So we'll move forward from here. So let's see. We we'll start from here. 
the first line this is this is zero right because zero and six on the same point is zero they will start moving this is the next one is uh, i will move from here from here this is zero right they will come again the next one is what one the next one is and we have one here we also have one at this point this is also one here then two this is two this is also two here three this is three this is also three here right this is also three here four this is four the line of four this is also four here and five Line of five, and this is also five here. Then we have what six? Is that the key? So this is one ton. Oh, good. So if I repeat the same thing here, what I did here, that will be the second ton. So let's do the second ton and see. We just repeat the same thing you did here on this point. Let me draw another line here. Any given radius. Hope you can see that. Then you start counting from here. This is one. Eleven. Twelve. That is the point twelve here. So the what you did here, you repeat the same thing at this point. You join the longest side. Join the last point here with this last point here. Can you see that? And you place your, your instrument at this end here. Then you start moving to the next one. That's what we have. And you should just project here too, to the end here. Right, so this will give me this zero. This will now be one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. So you put the same thing from here. So you see, it has come down to zero here, where zero means zero. It starts rising again. One, this is line one, line one, and line one here also. Then we have two, where two meet two again is another two here, where three meet three is another three here. Then we have four meeting also four here. We have five meeting, we have this is four here, right? Then we have five meeting five here, and we have six here. So we're going to join them using our French curve from here. All those points you join them together, so this is the helix we are about to bring out here. So this is what we have here, right? An helix is just defined as a space or a curve generated by a point. So this is the curve generated by each of those points, right? And also, um, in one complete revolution, we'll call it the lead. So from here to here is the pitch, and it's also the lead. From here to here is the lead. So these two pitch give us one lead, right? So if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.